The Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources has paid a familiarization tour of Bogolobi Waste Treatment Plant to ascertain the amount of power produced by National Water and Sewage Corporation. The committee inspected the trickling filter which enables a gradual flow, allowing the substance to pass through providing a habitat for bacteria. It is well operated by uh, experts. These experts are are the national water staff so these are guys who are very proficient in managing these systems so we have maintenance crews that will go uh, from the day to day uh, doing uh, preventive maintenance to ensure that the pumps are always running and then also in case there's a breakdown we have the response teams that come in to have uh, uh, these breakdowns are uh, repaired. The committee was informed that government owes National Water and Sewage Corporation over 88 billion shillings. They asked us to give them a breakdown so that they can help us follow, follow up with the government to see how payment of bills can be prioritized from government. Uh, they also wanted to know about the staff deployment, so we gave them all the staff deployments from senior manager upwards. And uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, we are regionally balanced and, and, and I'm happy with my staff complement that we are working very well with the regional balance which we have. The executive director of the National Water and Sewage Corporation, engineer Dr. Silva Mugisha, announced the corporation's upcoming Water for All program. And this is to ensure that all those places where we are, we reach 100% service coverage in the next five years. It's a good program. It will be partly, partly financed by National Water but also we want them to support us so that another part can, can come from government. The chairperson parliamentary committee on natural resources, Dr. Emmanuel Otala, realized that government has not been able to release the money national water planned for in the budget. My committee is first and foremost going to ensure that we talk to other ministries, departments and agencies that all money to National Water and Sewerage Corporation to make good on their obligations and uh, that would enable National Water to provide more services. And uh, that is the most critical thing. As of now, ministries, departments and agencies owe National Water to the tune of 41% of all their debts that they have. And uh, this is not a good trend. The plant's impact on local communities includes disease prevention, leading to healthier and more economically active communities. The visit of the Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources was to monitor environmental management in the city and also know the challenges faced by National Water and Sewage Corporation. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.